All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Lean and Mean Academy, where we talk about one truck, big profits, baby. Okay, today I am at Southeast Soft Wash down here in Roanoke, Alabama, for the Serious Starter Boot Camp. It's going to be a great weekend. We got a bunch of guys and gals coming in. But hey, today's video is about one thing that will help you close more jobs and make more money, baby. All right, but before we jump into this, if you're just starting your pressure washing business and you want to go from that zero to 7K mark, Justin and I built a course about a year ago. We've updated it since with Facebook ad strategy to help you get jobs. We go over a bunch of different cams. We go over my content strategy for marketing with your website. It's got everything in it for the new guy to go from zero to $7,000 a month. If that's you, go ahead and click the first link in the description. First link in the comments. Justin, you ready? Let's, Let's do it. All right. So, this one thing, and, and this is probably the most important thing forever in your business. And it comes down to integrity. It comes down to doing what you say you were gonna do, which is integrity. Doing a good job, all right? Getting people to love you, love your service, all right? But what does that all come down to? How do we even get them to buy in the first place, all right? How do we how do you say this? You know, football is a game of inches, right? How do we get those inches on the football field to push it into the touchdown, which is the money, to get them to give us $2,000 to clean that roof by God? All right, so the number one thing is trust. That's it. That's the video. No, I'm kidding. All right, how do we get trust, though? Now, I do a lot of... Um, I do a lot of looking at the data of my customers that come through, the prospects that come through, and why they called us in the first place, and why the job was closed. And then I go along the line and, hey, did I, did I step on the site with this person? Did I walk the property with this person? Did I quote this remotely with this person? What was my text messaging like? What was our exchange like? How did they start off the conversation? How did I maneuver the conversation and influence them? to buy, all right? And all of this is generated and geared towards garnering trust. Now, the good thing is at the end of this, you intend to do a really great job. I gotta disclaim that. It shouldn't seem like I need to disclaim that, but you can use this stuff to manipulate people and that's not okay. But in your business, I know you're gonna do a great job. I know you're gonna show up when you say you're gonna do it. And so how do we garner that trust from the customer, from the prospect, to give us their money. The first thing that I know that comes through my call center on why did you call us? That's a question that we ask. All right, if you wanna write that down, write that down. Get that data. The biggest thing is reviews, okay? And reviews are a simple form of social proofing. What is social proofing? Social proofing is a precursor to pre-qualification, okay? Is a precursor to preeminence. These are levels. Pre-qualified is something that we all want to become, and preeminence is something like Coca-Cola, right? I don't know if pressure washing companies could ever get to that level. Um, maybe Stanley Steamer, right? They clean carpets and stuff, I believe. They're probably one of the biggest preeminent companies out there for what they do as a service business. But social proofing with reviews, all of my customers say, well, not all of them, but a lot of them, probably 60% say I called because of the Google reviews or I called because you were found first on Google. Now think about this, right? Because we can control reviews, all right? Essentially, Google's being weird with their review placements now and they're taking a lot of people's reviews away, but it is something that we can ask for and that we can influence a client to give us after we've done the job. So that's within your control. Write down what's within my control and write reviews down at the top. Now, reviews create social proofing that in turn get customers to call us. It's definitely worth your time. It's very close to cash. This is blocking and tackling. Another thing that can help with social proofing is the shirt that you wear to meet the customer. Now, if you're doing on-site estimates, which I do recommend that you do uh, early in your business to where you start being able to see liabilities and mitigate those while you're on site walking the property. Some people get away from that, do remote quoting, which is fine. Some people like to stay and quote every single job. Me personally, I would 
go on site to quote all jobs over probably 1500 to 2000 5000 and above if it was below a thousand dollars i'd usually remote quote it and that's via text okay but the shirt you wear right when you meet that customer is it a professional shirt or is it just a t-shirt right is it kind of ratty do you look rough is it a polo how are you meeting these people is it one of the little soccer jerseys that a lot of guys like to wear real colorful but you know has your company name these little inches on the football field add up to the big one called trust okay so we got reviews we got the shirt we wear what about the wrap on your truck you don't have to get a whole expensive wrap you just need to get some lettering right some nice lettering what does this let the customer know this lets the customer know that i'm not a fly-by-night guy and i have put both feet into this endeavor that's what it tells them. It tells them I'm not a guy who's doing this as a hobby. I am willing to tell the public everywhere I go, everywhere I drive my truck, even to Walmart, that I do pressure washing. That is a huge mover. I know it sounds very small, but in the mind of a customer, when they're thinking about buying from you, this is huge because they say this guy is actually doing this and he's willing to tell the world about it. All right. So we got reviews. We got shirts. We got a wrap or lettering. These are all the things, not all of them, but a few things we can do to influence that trust to get that customer over the line to get to the money, all right? At the end of the day, it's really going to be about how much integrity you have on site, showing up when you say you're gonna show up, doing a great job and doing exactly what was agreed to. I don't like to do any more, I don't like to do any less, and if I do more, you know, I definitely let them know I did more at the end of the job. Okay, if I feel in that, that little, that goodwill at the end of the day, and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna clean this patio for free for them, it's very small. They get to know about that at the end of the day, so they know they got a little free bump, and then I'm getting a review on the back end of that. Okay, guys, I hope this video helped you to kind of recenter you on some of those things that you need to be hustling for. Um, Treat your business like a business, not like a hobby. Hobbies cost money, businesses make money. I'll see you guys in the next video.